What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be taking a look at the $80 melee weapon in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. This is the Beast Glove Blueprint for the Gladiator. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we have plenty of brand new bundle coverage over on Detonated.com, including other articles for multiplayer, Warzone and Zombies, Warzone Mobile, Best Loadout, CDL, and even more. If you guys do have any interest in bundles or the cosmetic side of Call of Duty, then don't worry because I have you covered here on the channel, and so does Detonated. But ladies and gentlemen as you guys can see all four bundles as a part of the titan collection have now released and it makes sense that they dropped all of them during the duration of the battle for hollow earth xp event which is still going on right now but does end this wednesday so all four bundles are out they obviously ended season two with the kong tracer pack and i'm still a little confused as to the direction of this bundle considering there isn't a mechanic kong type of character or any type of reference to this look in the new empire movie that just came out but still a cool bundle nonetheless and of course gets a really nice loading screen but then we of course got the release of the shimo bundle which in my opinion this could be the best bundle of the bunch considering it does feature what is honestly a mastercraft but isn't labeled as such in the pack for whatever reason and you get an equipment skin of course tracer blueprints and a really beautiful looking operator outfit but then we ended up getting the launch of the scar king bundle which might be the weakest of the bunch but in all honesty the tracers are still pretty cool the primordial ones and you get a nice finisher which fits the theme of Scar King from the new Empire movie, of course. Still a cool bundle if you guys have interest in the character. But then last and certainly not least, as of earlier today, they ended up releasing the new Godzilla Tracer Pack. This is a reactive skin, which looks absolutely gorgeous. So it'll start off blue, and as you get kills, you can evolve the skin into pink, as we see in the new Empire film. And then, of course, that Tracer Blueprint. So you get another equipment skin. So these are some pretty cool bundles, not gonna lie to you guys. But here's the thing. Upon purchasing all four of them, you do get a bit of a bonus. So as a reminder, you'll get an XP bonus towards progression of Battle for Hollow Earth if you run any of the four skins and went over all these rewards in a separate video definitely some cool rewards themed around some easter eggs in the brand new movie and just the monster verse all together as you guys can see in the season three battle pass we have the brand new gladiator melee weapon and you of course have to finish these sectors around sector 15 before you can go ahead and claim all the items inside of this one but it's important to note that you don't need the base version of the gladiator in order to use the brand new beast glove if you purchase all of the titan collection bundles so as you can see in the gunsmith head over to the gladiator Gladiator, click on it and you'll find the beast glove here's a flaw right out the gate with this brand new skin you can't actually go ahead and equip any camels on it now you could of course equip a camel if you have it unlocked but you just can't see it on the gladiator skin so the thing is if you want to go ahead and grind camels for the gladiator while using the glove you can do that you just can't go ahead and see any of the camels while equipped on the glove it's kind of a weird choice and if anything i think kind of undermines the value a little bit of this new reward but you guys out there might disagree let me know what you think about the fact that you just can't run any camels on this thing down below in the comments maybe in a future title update they'll go ahead and allow you to go ahead and use a mastery skin on this new beast club i think that would be pretty cool even if you have to wait half a season or longer to be able to do that maybe that'll come in the future but as of right now that just isn't possible but folks we are here on six star with the brand new beast glove blueprint for the gladiator you get a nice inspect animation it's exclusive to just this skin and you can see you have a gorilla hand when you use this blueprint which is cool but that's how it sounds when you punch an enemy with it i believe that's a unique sound as well feel free to correct me down below but Definitely doesn't sound like any other melee weapon I recognize, at least in this game. Now, it's just a basic punch that you hit enemies with. Nothing too crazy. It would have been awesome, of course, if, as you punch an enemy with the glove, they go flying into the air, similar to when you when you do that Kong finisher, and you kind of just launch them into the air. We also saw that one in Vanguard, but yeah, I think that would have made this a little bit cooler. But let's try doing a finishing move with it. And... Sadly, <laughs> you do not have the glove in your hand when doing it. Maybe they'll change that later. That would be pretty cool. I wouldn't be shocked if they honestly adjust this glove a little bit. It's nothing crazy, but definitely looks aesthetically pleasing if you're a fan of the MonsterVerse. If you saw the new Empire movie, this is very accurate to the glove Kong does wear towards the later half of the film. Now, the thing is, they really had to make the Beast Glove a blueprint for another melee weapon. Because if they didn't, then there would have been an argument that... It's pay to win, because you have to spend 80 bucks to get all four bundles. 
And it's still a pretty cool blueprint, though. I mean, the size difference in the skin compared to the base version of the Gladiator is crazy. All right, so upon going into a game of zombies, yes, the blueprint for the Gladiator does load in properly if you go ahead and spawn in with it thanks to your insured weapon slot. And you could, of course, put Brain Rot or any other ammo mod on the melee weapon. Look at that first hit. <laughs> Got a Brain Rot zombie. Would be cool if it at least launched the zombies into the air. Even if it doesn't work in multiplayer with real people. But if it lost the zombies far into the sky, that would have been pretty cool. Now, I believe the speed of the swing is probably the same as the Gladiator. But obviously, aesthetically, looks a bit different. Takes about one to two hits to kill a zombie, depending on how much armor they have. Maybe it'll be around three hits if they're a little bit beefier. But still fun to bring in the zombies and try something a little bit different if you guys do have this. But here's a bounty in Tier 2. Let's go ahead and punch him a little bit obviously doesn't do much damage at all whatsoever let's try out tier one pack a punch see if that does anything else really not much at all let's go ahead and armor up before uh this guy wants the box over here let's do it yeah really not much damage now sadly there isn't a pack a punch camo on the beast blueprint either i mean i guess that makes sense you can't even put mastery camos on this thing so Maybe it's a bit of an oversight, or they'll update this later. It's a little unclear as to what they're going to do with it, but still, cool to test out nonetheless. Go ahead and pop our Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch camo here. And there you have it. It will be funny if it just bugs out and shows the path camo on the actual blueprint itself. But yeah, let's go punch some other enemies with Tier 2. Tier 2 Bounty, Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch. It's a Disciple. Do a little jump punch on this guy. Still do some decent damage. I mean, as you pack a punch this thing more, the better it gets. So... Could be viable if you guys want to spend some money and you invest in back a punch on this thing it's honestly not too bad but again something to just have fun with not meant to be the meta of zombies or anything but something to switch things up a little bit while you're playing zombies if you're already stale of the content that is available and if you've already beaten all the act missions you got nothing else left to do but now when it comes to tier three on our good old beast glove there we have it once again no camo but against tier three zombies i mean honestly not bad Honestly, not bad at all. Still be about, let's see, one hit on regular zombies with no armor. And then mini bosses, I mean, two, three, four hits tops. Still fun to bring in if you want to maybe preserve some ammo while you're in the tier three zone for whatever reason. Can't really complain about it. But yeah, this is a fully maxed out gladiator blueprint, of course. I'm not sure. I mean, actually, I am sure the gladiator probably does the same amount of damage. If it doesn't have the Beast Glove blueprint. Because then <laughs> we get into that pay-to-win territory. At least they still for me, just for the gameplay. Appreciate that, Disciple. Let me just straight up box in the X-Fill zone here. Oh my god. Imagine a quick fix in zombies. <laughs> just constantly get health back as you punch. But I'm positive if you let somebody x with this Beast Glove, they'll unlock the base version of the Gladiator, as you would expect with any x for a new DLC weapon. But they'll be able to spawn in with the Beast Glove. So long as they keep it in their stash, you know, in their inventory, they just won't unlock a permanent version of the Beast Club that they could bring into multiplayer or Warzone. Hopefully that is very clear. Oh, bro came on the x with me. Nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, over in Warzone today, they've actually added the Solar Eclipse onto Rebirth, which I didn't expect them to do, but hopefully you experienced it for yourself outside. Please make sure to touch some grass and experience a beautiful phenomenon that many folks are going to be seeing for the first time today and could even be their last time ever seeing one today. So definitely worth checking out. Make sure you guys go outside, but hey, if you want to experience it again in-game, <laughs> then we have it here on Rebirth, which is pretty damn funny. Didn't expect that, but variable time of day updates are coming to Rebirth later in season as well, just as a reminder. And what are the odds? Get the Gladiator blooper right out the gate with a personal supply box. Drop it on the ground, that's what it looks like. Kind of looks like the Thanos gauntlet from afar, but yep, there we have it. You're in Warzone, and we're dead. So you going to finish him? Oh! <laughs> Rip that CDL skin. Wow. Yeah, the two hits pretty good. I mean, don't use melee weapons all that often in Warzone, if really at all. I mean, once in a blue moon. Oh! Sorry about that. <laughs> and we got the Sheeple finishing move. Hell yeah. 
The swing's too fast on this thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is some bad news when it comes to the Beast Club over in Warzone Mobile. So I wanted to review it in a match of Verdance Plunder, even in the small multiplayer. But for whatever reason, there's a really strange bug within mobile that doesn't recognize the fact that I already claimed the sector featuring the Gladiator melee weapon. Head over into your gunsmith. Click on a loadout that lets you switch to a melee weapon. Look over at the Gladiator, and as you can see, it says it's locked. I have to purchase the Battle Pass, which I did, and also progress the Battle Pass to Tier 75. Well, over in the main game, I already claimed the Gladiator Blueprint, but regardless of that, I should still be able to use this Beast Glove for free. And the weird thing is on mobile, I just can't do that. It's visible, and I'm sure when you hop in-game with it, it'll have the same inspect animation and the same damage output as it does in the mainline series because all the damage multipliers do transfer over from the main game. But it's sad that I can't bring this in-game unless I go ahead and buy the rest of my tiers or if I go ahead and just grind them legitimately. Now, I do have 40 tokens I could use, but that's still not enough to get to tier 75. I could buy the rest and bring it in-game, but you guys probably get the idea. There's a massive bug here with mobile that, look, <laughs> there's a massive bug that says I don't have the Gladiator even though I've already claimed it. It acknowledges I claimed it, but I still can't equip it. That's a weird bug, and in all honesty, it's weird that the UI of the Battle Pass in Warzone Mobile doesn't reflect the big map that we have inside of Modern Warfare 3 and regular Warzone. So probably in oversight, you'll see clips of the Beast Club in Warzone Mobile posted all over YouTube. I'll probably make a short about it in the next couple of days, but there we have it when it comes to a really weird bug here inside of the mobile experience. Now, here's my final verdict. Unless you're a big fan of the MonsterVerse and really like all four of the Titan Collection bundles, I don't think you're missing out on that much other than the real cool look of this Gladiator blueprint. It's just a skin. Again, it's not a separate melee weapon, and I think that's probably a good thing because like I mentioned earlier, it would have been quote unquote paid to win if it was an actual melee weapon, not a blueprint, and you had to pay $80 for it. That would have been crazy, but the fact you can't equip any camels on it, it's kind of a bummer, but at least you can still grind gladiator camels while using this blueprint. In all honesty, this should have been a reward for both beating the event and buying maybe one to two bundles tops, but having to buy all four, that's not something that a lot of folks can go ahead and do here inside of Call of Duty. So I got this for the sake of reviewing it. I mean, I use the COD points that I've been gifted over the last few months by the studio. So big special thanks to the PR team at Activision for providing me with the COD points for this little review.